what goes around comes around. You can't just take and steal the camera from real Russia. Hello everyone, this is Sergey Baklagov and you're watching Real Russia channel, the deepest insight into the real Russian life with no fake, no bullshit. Can you hear me? No fake, no bullshit. You know, I would be absolutely happy if this traditional beginning would be the beginning of the traditional episode of Real Russia, where I would stay somewhere outside and then we go deep inside and I was telling you about this or that things in Russia. But unfortunately now I have to record the video that I would be glad not to record and will tell about the thing that I would be happy not to talk about. That's actually all about the shit with the former cameraman uh, that you all perfectly know, Sergei Pichugin, also known as Sergei Grom. But I have to tell about this because it's no fake, no bullshit, it's all the truth and this is actually something what affected, very negatively affected, not only me, not only in real Russia, but all of you guys. And this is something what you're asking all the time. Uh, this is something what became a huge loss for real Russia channel and this is something what uh, what was a huge waste of time for Real Russia channel, a huge waste of time, the time that I could use way more effective than I used. Um, and this is actually all about his quit and stealing the equipment. But let's start from the beginning. Well, from the beginning you all remember that we started good, we just filmed the videos and uh, you enjoyed them. And uh, the final part of the story starts in the beginning of this year, 2014. In January, if you remember, I started the crowdfund campaign where I asked you to support Real Russia for traveling to Moscow and uh, Sochi and getting the new equipment like Blackmagic camera, this Blackmagic camera and all the additional equipment for these lenses, on-camera light, SSD discs uh, and, and, and many other things. Uh, and actually it's worked. We went to Moscow, we went to Sochi, we've got the equipment and actually the Blackmagic camera, this is something what I've got as for my own money, as for the money of our assistant manager Maxim Chipkasov, as for the money that you uh, uh, gave us through the crowd fund. Uh, but unfortunately something in Moscow finally went uh, uh, goes not well and we returned in the end of April 2014 from Moscow to Ufa and this is where and when Sergei Pichugin told that he quit the channel because he wants to start his own business of filming the half-nude ladies making the video sessions of them uh, well, you all know that he loves it. And I said, that's okay. Uh, actually, we all are free people. And if that's your decision, you can go. I can't keep you. I will not keep you. That's okay. The only thing that, of course, I said that he have to return the equipment. He said, no. Somehow he decided that if the equipment was also bought for the money that you crowdfunded for Real Russia, it's also belong to him and he can take it. That's his official position. But I told him that this equipment not belong to me or to you. It belongs to real Russia. You don't know what is the crowd fund. The people, you guys, uh, crowd funded this because you wanted to watch more videos of real Russia and preferably in a better quality. Am I right? Of course, you never crowdfunded this for the personal needs of Sergei Pichugin, Sergei Grom, uh, and of course for his nude ladies video sessions, and not even for my personal needs. We were talking about the needs of real Russia, more videos, more quality videos, and so. And actually, it's never worked. Never I was able to admit him that he have to return the camera. And not only the camera, but all additional equipment which physically was in his hands because he was the cameraman and actually uh, physically all the equipment was in his hands. 
uh, and actually he said that no and then not even talks to me uh, and even said that you know please give me a favor don't even talk with me about this anymore okay it's so boring I told you everything that's what he said and actually no matter what since November actually a half of year I was telling him return the equipment return the equipment it's not your equipment actually he stole it now you he jacked it now no effect and you know actually at that time he left me without nothing at all and in June I had to uh, take my last money and to buy at least this Panasonic Lumix G6 for the camera and to work with this together with my wife Albina well you all know about this that Albina Baklakova then supported me um, I just never knew how could I take this equipment back but fortunately the culmination came to the 6th of November when our common friend called me and said that Pichugin Grom called him and said that uh, he selling the black magic cinema camera and you know he were selling it even for the higher price than I bought it why because actually now the oil prices dropped down and the ruble dropped down as well uh, if uh, the exchange rate was about 32 rubles for one dollar now it's about 54 uh, rubles for one dollar because of the uh, the price for an oil <clears throat> well I was shocked absolutely shocked he's selling the equipment and I also went to avita.ru this is the largest second-hand ads website in Russia Avita and that's it I have found this camera there he was selling this and he wrote that it's in ideal condition and that he urgently needs the money and right after this already in the next morning at the 7th of November I came to the police department and said all this story and actually the policeman uh, same day same day called him to Grom and uh, pretending to be the potential buyer set up the meet right in the same day in the evening so they have met and that's where they kept him uh, bring to the police department arrested the camera and the equipment uh, with the lens and SSD disk uh, the Grom himself went home because actually he explained the situation that he worked with me and that actually we just got some misunderstandings and that's why they never uh, considered his actions like a stealing like a hijacking because it's more like a civil um, matter and so um, what about the papers all the legal papers registered on my name but on my hands I had on them because they was in the box in the box to black magic camera and of course once it's on my name uh, Grom hidden them and I had to contact the store in Moscow and by DHL Express uh, they, they sent me the papers where it's written that everything belonged to me you see uh, black magic camera cinema camera EF from the 23rd 23rd of uh, January 2014 this is also the guarantee the guarantee for the camera and that's it and so um, it's taken about a month for me to recover the documents and finally at the 4th of December to get at least a part of equipment back the whole equipment by the way have the value of about six thousand of dollars so I got back the camera itself the black magic camera I've got back uh, the Canon wide angle lens 1755 millimeters that's it and uh, fortunately uh, here was also one of three SSD discs that we purchased 
So that's what I've got. That's what I've got. Um, Grom still have the fish eye lens, eight millimeters. He have two SSD discs, on camera light, monopod, the head for the monopod, and many other things. But I'm really happy that I've got back at least this, because uh, with this at least I can start working. And I will continue working, working for the real Russia, for the real Russia channel, because, you know, I'm not going to betray, betray all of you guys for the sake of nude ladies. Actually, I guess he just wanted uh, an easy money. You know, it's really good when you're just uh, somewhere in the studio, walking with the nude ladies, filming them from all possible angles, and then with a great pleasure looking at their nude parts, editing this. So that's it. But it's really not interesting to me. It's way more interesting for me making more global videos and making the bridges with the nations of all of the world thankful to them. So that's why finally I won. Because what goes around comes around. And you can't just take and steal the camera from real Russia. And you know, the truth is wins all the time. So that's the whole story. And I hope that now you guys will not asking me, where is Sergey Grom? I explained everything. No fake, no bullshit. I have nothing to hide. Of course, very unpleasant talk about this, but that's it. As always, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you're not yet. Of course, uh, share with your friends. Uh, okay. Everything finished well, and that's the main thing. Finally, finally, after all, I can continue making this. Well, of course, I will not surprise if Grom somehow will appear yet. Maybe will scratch my car or so, but that's already such a little things. Thank you very much for attention.